Hello everybody, so this is the SR71 and these are the templates that I printed out recently and I'm surprised how clean they actually came out because I printed the I put the printing pretty thick so I hope that I don't have to invert anything hope I can just use it as is and here are the parts A little close up these are the engines so what I'm gonna do is Almost like I did in the short that I posted about the F-107, I'm just going to cut out all the pieces all at once and then build them all, all at once. Hopefully. And like into different modules and then put all the modules together to have the full airplane. And I am using a pretty blunt knife for this, but it's working because I accidentally um, clipped off the tip accidentally. So it's not sharp for poking, but if you lay on the side, it works. I don't want to waste my blades. So I'll just keep using this one. And I am using the chisel um, blade because that's such a nice thick handle to hold on to because sometimes your hand can get kind of fatigued when you keep using a super thin piece of metal. Just scoring it along with the scissor with the exacto blade. Just score that carefully. I don't want to ruin my light, of course. I'm just, I'm not even pressing. All it needs is just a guide so that when you fold it, it, it just knows where to go. For these smooth parts on the edge where the engine meets the wheel the tail, what I do is I just put put everything in rectangles and that way you can give the idea of smooth edges with just a few parts. Here the two ones are smooth on both sides. For this main body part, I built the basic structure, which is comprised of the top silhouette, the side silhouette, and that's it. The only That's the only silhouette we need. What we're going to do is take some paper like this. Of course, we're going to take a square. Maybe there's more suitable for the demonstration. And I'll just bend it over here and bend paper over, meeting the lines in this pattern. Then we'll take some more paper and lean it against those. You'll see what I'm saying. I hope you understand. I think I think it's pretty clear. And then I'll, I'll lean it, and then I'll glue that to this. So here is some of the paper that I was talking about. And the plan is that I take a bit, like this, maybe that's too small. I do this, and then I will bend it. It's a horrible bend. Like that. And then I'll glue it over here, but I have to make sure that it lines up with the lines that I drew. And it doesn't have to exactly touch them because they're going to be covered anyway by the um, leaning bodywork. So what I do is I put some glue there, stick it to there, it's 
hot glue so I don't have to hold it and then bend it over and cut off the what exceeds and there we have it one nice thing and the silhouette is looking so good too so that's pretty much it so the lighting is looking very nice right now by the way anyway this is the blackbird so far I glued on the nasals engine assemblies to the main body on the bottom it's looking pretty plain but on the front it's looking very clean so what I'm going to do is I still have the hot glue gun plugged in I'm going to use the hot glue gun for the rest of the all the paneling work I'm going to use the hot glue gun for that just apply some here I'm going to apply glue on both sides one up there and one down there a bead of glue just do this curve Essential a hot glue gun is essential for this, I think. This work. So I finished the back, I put some more paneling. It's looking extremely rough back here, so I'm gonna have to figure out something here. I'm gonna have to use precision using my exacto knife. I lost it again. But once I find it, that's what I'm gonna do. Put some more panels here. I tried to do this texturing, but it didn't work at all. I printed some simple textures here, so I'll put those, I think, in some places, perhaps. Um, but that's pretty much it. I'll just fix that. And this is a silhouette so far. Just to get you an idea of the top part. Of course, the bottom is not done. I'll do that tomorrow, probably. So that is pretty much it for today. I think I'm going to leave it. Next day, it's getting pretty dark. We will pick up tomorrow. The next day, day two, it's looking the same. I added these black accents to it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some black paper to make some contrast. So it's looking kind of off, but that's fine. I think I'll just trace it onto a different piece of random paper on here, and I can fix that. This canopy, I cut it out without the templates. I just scratch built it just right here, and it looks so good. The silhouette is perfect. So this is, I'm just gonna break this, or I copy these, scan it in the printer, and then vectorize them so we can have them as real templates. Get some paper. This is very thick paper. So for the top, for the top paneling, I was using 85 pound, but for the bottom, I'm gonna have to use 100 pound. I'm thinking maybe I can just lay the whole thing because the bottom is very smooth. It doesn't have this very complex shape. It's just bands covering it. And here, it should just be like that. So it's very simple. Very simple assembly. So now I have a new blade. Extremely sharp. And now I can just easily come in here and cut. So nice to have a new blade. Just slices through it exactly. What I'm doing is I'm cutting out these little teeth things. I just cut out all these, and what we'll do is we'll take them and arrange them all along the edge of the swing. So here is the SR71. I organize the cable so that we can see it clearly. And one thing to always consider when you make something like this is every detail makes you look at the model in a different way. So it kind of changed the way you look at it from when I put these triangles to when I didn't put them on. Because now that I have them on, it's kind of harder to see the edge. So now it kind of gives the idea as if the wings have a sort of bend inside of them. So I have these two black paper, but one is more black than the other. So this is from Astro Brights. They make very nice paper, very nice black paper. For the white paper, there's a different company. I have to remember what it's called. Hamilco. They make very good cardstock, white cardstock, perfect for printing. So for the black, this Astro Bright is perfect. And what I'm going to do is just add some little dots and elements to the main underlay of the plane. 
Uh, we don't use too much of the same shape, so I think we can leave the rest of these and cut out some new shapes. So the new shapes that I'll cut out, I'll cover this container so it doesn't dry. At some point, I'm going to have to transfer this. I will cut out the landing gear, otherwise, and I will do that. They're very simple landing gears, like in fact. They're not so complex like the F-18 or something. That has such complex doors, but this one's so simple. So I'm gonna go to my computer real quick. I was about to go and look on the computer when I remembered that we have this book. And I do believe it should have the SF-71 in it. In fact, when I first got this book, I didn't, I wasn't into the F-11, uh, the F, um, what is it? SR-71, so I never looked at it to check if it was in here. So it actually is, I just conveniently opened to the page. And we can hopefully see a side view. So this gives us some details. And here you can actually see the triangles that I was talking about. And in fact, I have to add some triangles to the back here as well. And I didn't know that I had to do that. So we'll do that. And you can see there's some more dots around there. And at the side, it's just a simple square for the landing gear, just a simple rectangle. So obviously, it would bend in, so it'd probably square this and that way. So that's what we'll do. There we have the back. I'm going to do the front. Wow, 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 wow,